Hello and welcome today, we're going to answer an important health question does religion play a major role in your overall health? Specifically, when it relates to the ratio of omega-6 fatty acids to omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, let's take a look at some disturbing changes in the house that have been taking place over the last 65 years or so in developed countries around the world have seen a major increase in autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, vasculitis, celiac disease, and type 1 diabetes. Research published in 2015 in the International Journal of Celiac Disease by R. Aaron Lerner at Israel's Technion Israel Institute of Technology suggests three major environmental factors as strongly suspected to drive these infections, ecology, and nutrition allergies have also been rising rapidly. One in five children are diagnosed with some type of allergic disease, including asthma, atopic dermatitis, and allergic rhinitis, according to Professor Innes Asher from the University of Auckland, in 1998 edition of the Journal of Clinical and Experimental Allergy, in fact, allergies can now be deemed to become an epidemic as they've increased so significantly. Professor Thomas Bieber at the Department of Dermatology and Allergy at the University of Bonn is considered to be one of the most famous dermatologists in Germany today his paper published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2008 reveals 15 to 30 percent of children suffer from atopic dermatitis a number that has tripled over the past 30 years Dr. Valma Mahusalo at the Falk Health Research Center in Finland stated in The Lancet in 2008 that type 1 diabetes has now become a serious problem affecting children at a much younger age than ever before especially in Europe Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, and primary biliary cirrhosis three different forms of irritable bowel disease are also rising at an alarming rate. Interestingly during the same time, a wide variety of infectious diseases have been on the decline, thanks mostly to vaccines, antibiotics, and improved hygiene habits. This has led many scientists to look at diet as the cause of these increases. Specifically the proportion of omega-3 fatty acids to omega-6 fatty acids. Dr. Artemis Timo Poulos is the founder and president of the Center for Genetics, Nutrition and Health in Washington, D.C. She's published a lot of research into the relationship between inflammatory and autoimmune diseases and the ratio between dietary omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids she states that the optimal ratio of omega-6 which is inflammatory to omega-3 which is non-inflammatory should be 4 to 1 or lower. The problem is that in most western diets the ratio is currently an extremely unhealthy 15 to 1 or higher. This markedly higher ratio of inflammatory omega-6 to a host of illnesses and diseases cardiovascular disease, obesity rheumatoid arthritis, cancers of many types depression, etc. These facts are undisputed in the scientific community higher amounts of omega-6 fatty acids are killing humans at an astounding rate around the world. Studies published by Dr. Semopoulos, since the early 19s, also confirmed that a high proportion of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids causes a dramatic shift in the physiological state of the human body. When omega-6 is more prevalent, the pathogenesis of body tissue occurs, including prothrombin pro-inflammatory and pro-constrictive states. All of which are the very causes of the disease. On the other hand, Dr. Semopoulos says scientists have found that a diet higher in omega-3 fatty acids is therapeutic and preventive people with inflammatory and immune diseases have been helped by a diet higher in omega-3s while coronary artery disease, hypertension, cancer, arthritis, autoimmune disorders, and other inflammatory diseases are all diminished and even prevented when omega-3s are more prevalent. Since diet has been shown to be a causative factor one needs to look at specific foods in order to see where the problem lies. Pig or pork for example produces higher levels of omega-6 by synthesis which is why it has a much higher level of omega-6 fats. Pork contains up to 14.2 grams of omega-6 per 100 grams of fatty acids in comparison to the meat in cattle or sheep at 2.4 grams and 2.7 grams, respectively. 
As stated by Dr. Michael Answer and his colleagues at the University of Bristol in the Journal of Meat Science in 1996 the reason for this is explained by his university colleague Professor Jeff Wood in the 2008 edition of the journal Professor Wood says it's because all omega-6 fatty acids present in the diet of pigs passed through the stomach unchanged then while in the small intestine they're absorbed into the bloodstream and incorporated into the animal's tissues as is and unchanged. While in ruminants like cattle and sheep dietary omega-6 fatty acids are degraded into different fatty acids in their stomach a process is called microbial biohydrogenation because of this only a small portion of dietary omega-6 fatty acids, approximately 10% are made available for incorporation into tissue fats meanwhile rabbits, ostrich, and camel have a very attractive omega-6 to omega-6 profile but they're eaten on a much smaller scale in fact after reviewing the nutritional value of rabbit meat from 50 publications the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio in rabbit flesh makes it very attractive for health purposes as stated in 2004 by Dr. Sylvie Coombs at Europe's top agricultural research institute and the world's number two center for the agricultural sciences the INR. A camel as well has been found to have an ideal ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 almost 3 to 1 according to Dr. Omar Abdul Hadi from Sudan's University of Cordovan writing in the Journal of the Saudi Society of Agricultural Sciences in 2017. Ostrich meat also has a high level of omega-3 fatty acids research published in the Journal of Food and Nutrition Research in 2014 by Dr. Dot Xavier Medina and Alicia Aguilar at Spain's University of Catalonia reveals that more than 8% of the polyunsaturated fatty acids in ostrich are omega-3 scientists like Drive.Cletos Mapier Stellenbosch University in South Africa have also found that processed beef products which have had perirenal fat added to them could possibly be a better source of CLNAR that's a conjugated linoleic acid which has been shown to have anti-inflammatory, anti-carcinogenic, and anti-obesity properties in fact in his study published in 2014 in the Journal of Animal Science and Biotechnology Dr. Mackey found that when perirenal fat was added to regular beef hamburger meat the fatty acid profile or ratio was improved thus making it much healthier for human consumption if we look at shellfish now lobster. Crab and crayfish shrimps and mussels all have very healthy and attractive omega-3 to omega-6 ratios this has been demonstrated in a number of articles published by Dr. Dr. Sarah Berento at the University of Proso in Portugal and Swansea University in Wales Dr. Dr. Magdalena Stanek at Poland's University of Technology and Life Sciences and Dr. Dr. Seabelt Danica Bossi at Sinop University in Turkey their research published in 2009, 2010 and 2015 respectively shows that shellfish is even better than a rabbit, chicken, lamb, and beef at preventing coronary diseases and chronic inflammatory conditions. Paul German a PhD is the CEO and founder of a biotech startup developing a vascular therapy for cancer his wife Shushing the Gmon a PhD is a director and molecular biologist and cancer researcher at both the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Harvard Medical School these two scientists share a long-standing interest in diet and health and they're the founders and principals of the Perfect Health Retreat and authors of the Perfect Health Diet series and website in part two of their book published online online on 15th of February 2012 they restated that in most countries pork is either the primary source of omega-6 fats or the second source after vegetable oils they go on to recommend in their book what they call perfect health diets a certain dietary strategy in brief they say that the highest sources of omega like pork must be removed or greatly reduced in the human diet while the sources of omega-3 like seafoods especially shellfish must be added in order to stay healthy a dietary strategy which is already approved and recommended by all doctors nutritionists and molecular biologists an updated dietary strategy which was put by the holy quran to all muslims more than 1400 years ago and which muslims are ordered to strictly follow it's becoming clear that religion has its part to play in human health due to the fact that the jewish christian and muslim religions vary so differently in the type of meat they allow their followers to consume Science shows that the lower omega-6 levels of fatty acids in the type of meats that the Holy Quran allows Muslims to eat lead to a healthier diet over 1400 years ago the Holy Quran was already mentioning the health qualities of perirenal fat shellfish, rabbit, ostrich, 
and Camel and also stated that as a firm punishment Jews were not allowed to eat foods that contain this type of meat or this type of fat. The Holy Quran says in chapter 4 verse 160 were made unlawful for them we deprived the Jews of certain good foods which had been lawful for them before because of the injustice which they had committed and because of their much hindering from the path of God Allah's way. In chapter 6 verse 146 the Holy Quran also says we God forbade them the Jews the fat of the cattle and the sheep except that that which is carried on their backs or in the viscera or mixed with bones. This was a punishment we gave them on account of their rebellion when we look at the facts it's quite clear Jews and Muslims are forbidden from eating pork but amazingly Jews are also forbidden by the Torah from eating certain healthy foods which they named not kosher such as rabbit, ostrich, camel. Shellfish and perirenal fat which is considered a clear indirect message to Holy Quran to Muslims to add more of these foods to their diet questions can eat the same food that Muslims can eat but they're also allowed to consume pork which group is the healthiest. People of the Muslim faith. This leads to a very strong conclusion people of the Muslim faith then thanks to their following of the Holy Quran appear to have been blessed with a much healthier diet and longer healthier lives in fact the diet followed by those of the Muslim faith appears far superior to that of Jews and Christians alike the reason is simple the healthy human ratio of omega 3 to omega 6 fatty acids is a very tight window if the balance is off even by a small margin disease and sickness results for this. Reason that the highest sources of omega-6 must be removed or greatly reduced in the human diet while the sources of omega-3 must be added in order to stay healthy so it only makes sense that people of all religions move towards a diet that better reflects the diet in the Holy Quran a superior healthier human diet. Muslim countries simply don't suffer such a prevalence of autoimmune diseases or allergies.